<laughs> I do. I mean, I, you know, we want to feel awake and alive and connected. And I mean, I feel, yeah. Yeah. And sometimes we also want to check out. And that is just sometimes like, yo, I just need to watch Indian Matchmaker on Netflix and call it a day. <laughs> yes. Is that, do you have other guilty, like, do you watch? I mean, I don't think of you as someone that will just check out with like the mindless reality TV that I probably check out with, but. I've tried. I can't get in with the Real Housewives. I just. And like the Kardashians, like that does nothing for you. I mean, the, the Card like. I mean, I wouldn't think it would, but I, I, I don't want to make a stereotype and just, you well, know. Here's, here's this thing, right? Where it's, it's. Like, I would want to sit down with Kim Kardashian or any of those housewives and just uh, take some mushrooms or even just smoke some weed and like have a conversation. Like, I'm not satisfied with just, it. Just, I'm like, how do you think this way? Where does this, and why? Why are you so violent? Why are you so angry? What is the, like, why are we flipping over? Like, who hurt you? Like, let's like, like who hurt you? And I don't understand, and I can understand in some way, like why it's entertainment, but it just kind of like, it hurts my soul a little bit. <laughs> I get it. No, I mean, I have, I have this old, you know, when, when I go deep too, you know, there's so many fans of so many of these housewives. It's kind of like, but do, if this person weren't on this particular show and you just strip all that away yeah. as a person, you don't want to be friends with this person. You don't. And so, I mean, I understand you're idolizing them, but if you strip all this away, A, this person is just maybe a bad person at their core and B, you don't want to be friends with this person. Just think about really what it is. And there are enough villains in the world already. We don't need to create more in, in terms of that reality thing. And also just like, I'm sorry, dude. Like it, it's that, I'm more interested in watching like a documentary or a series like, uh, uh, oh God, Michael Pollan's um, newest uh, doc on, on, on Netflix, How to Change Your Mind. You know, I'm more interested in watching about like, oh, they're building like an urban farm and an urban garden. And oh my gosh, look at like the change this is creating and holy cow, like that's the stuff that I really get behind because that is the kind of world that I desire to live in. And, and I, I don't mean that in the space of absence of pain, but I also don't want to unnecessarily just inflict pain onto another just to do that. And, and, and by watching it, I'm, I'm supporting that and, and getting behind that. And that just makes me feel uncomfortable where it's like, yeah, you know, we're held hostage by a system that forces us to participate. Like we don't have a choice in participating. We are forced to participate. But then within that too, I have a choice in terms of what I personally participate in, in terms of being a viewer. And that's, and no shade to anybody who watches it, it who delights in it and like whatever, that just isn't in my wheelhouse. And please know that I've tried. I have tried, I tried to be a passenger that is just watching the train wreck, um, but I, I don't feel sorry for any of them. And, and also I'm much more interested in how they got to be who they are. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> well, like how did you become such a garbage person? <laughs> You got to give it up to all these production companies that just, it's like, bravo, you found another person. So on brand, like, I don't know how you spot it, but 
congratulations. And also none of it's even real, right? Like so it's all much fake, it? right? Like even like the table flipping and like whatever, like that's not real, that's fake, right? I don't know enough about it, but. You become a caricature of yourself. And like, if you're on something for even five years, you, you know what to do and now you're trying and now it's all fake, yes. Yeah, so, so that, 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 there are so many other good shows on. Why the fuck am I gonna watch this shit? Especially if it's scripted. If it's not scripted and it's completely just natural and you're watching a psychological experiment unfold before your eyes in terms of uh, uh, wealth, uh, and and what is it to truly be wealthy? <laughs> and like where it's like you have a wealthy bank account, but you are absolutely bankrupt in terms of spirit and humanity. Um, <laughs> and unhappy. So let's add that to the list. I want to talk about before we wrap up, like all your current stuff. Like you have a new movie coming out, mm -hmm. The Mattachine Family with yes. Cinderella. That's exciting, right? I mean, yes, we love right? a little Nico. Yes, we love Nico. We love Emily Hampshire. You know, we love Juan Pablo. Yeah, like we we adore all of them. That was that was really fun. It was it was a fun experience, and it's a really sweet script. And um, I I hope that it does well, and and that everyone who desires to see it gets to see it. And speaking of current projects, are you working on a podcast? You made a post on your Instagram oh, that yes. something is I'm coming. Doing, I'm doing, I, I was doing a narrative podcast with Kelly Marie Tran, who I absolutely fucking adore, um, called Chinook. And I think that's going to be coming out in, uh, around the holidays. Yeah. Yeah, so just did that. And then I just completed another film in New York called Booger, which is a, a really quirky, heartfelt story about Greece, grief, about grief um, and loss and, and love. So yeah, I've, 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 I've had a, a steady bit of work, which um, I'm, I'm, I'm always happy about. That's good. Anything else you want to cover before we wrap up? I thank you for answering all my questions. I always like to give people a chance to like bring up like, whatever it is. I have a question for you. You can ask me anything. Uh, when, when did you end up having Anne Heche on the podcast? How long ago was that? It was, I know, it's kind of crazy, right? It was, so it's out today. It was earlier this year at the beginning of this year. It out today. Yeah. Like today is like the release, you know, it was just one of these things where it was, there was nothing she was promoting. There was no PR people pushing it to come out. You know how it works. Just certain things. I'm like, oh, well, this is time sensitive. This manager's all over me. This I'm like, fine. It just kept getting delayed. And she was like, 